Hi, I'm Marco Dietri, long-time Debian developer and more. Um, I want to speak about uh, uh, ephemeral system and factory reset in the context of, of Debian. Uh, short summary, uh, factory reset is when uh, you delete etc and var from a system. Ephemeral system and is uh, when uh, these directories are on a TMPFS or something like that, so they are uh, rebuilt uh, at every boot. I'm, I want to show you how to do this uh, on a general purpose uh, uh, operating system like, De like Debian is, uh, what works, what does not, uh, and what needs to be improved. The good news is that it almost, uh, uh, everything almost works, almost. I'm a Debian developer, but most of these concepts are applicable to other distributions as well. How to do these experiments? Uh, first thing first, a few um, files need to be copied in USR Share Factory, which is where they will be taken later when uh, uh, the new system is instantiated. Then I create an empty container and start it with the system DN spawn. If somebody knows how, how to actually use uh, uh, volatile or uh, um, a root on the TMPFS, please let me know because I could not make that work. But anyway, as you can see, var and etc are uh, on uh, um, a TMPFS, and USR comes uh, from uh, the actual host system. I'm doing all this testing just on my laptop, nothing fancy. By using um, TMP, systemd TMP files, uh, I can copy a few uh, files from USR share factory uh, that are needed that cannot be replaced uh, in other ways. Uh, let's see uh, what they are. They can be copied, see, or just uh, sim linked uh, from USR share factory. The biggest culprit here uh, is PAM. ETC security contains uh, all the configuration files for uh, the PAM modules. Some of them are even uh, uh, created by systemd, and there is no USR equivalent, so they have to be copied uh, uh, from somewhere else uh, if uh, um, the system is started with an empty ATC. ATC PAMD contains uh, the configuration for the stacking of the PAM modules. There is uh, uh, actually uh, a plan to move them to USR, Debian will do this uh, soon, in the next future, time, time by time, but uh, uh, some files are left. These uh, common uh, uh, files are included by the others. That's a Debianism, but I think it's a good one because it means that usually you do not need to uh, modify the files shipped uh, uh, by the packages. Good news is they can be recreated on boot with PAM uh, out update, and I just uh, uh, wrote a system D unit to do that uh, on the first boot. ETC alternatives, uh, it's a feature used both by uh, Debian and Red Hat. Basically, if you have multiple implementation of a command line uh, program, you can create, uh, well, you can, the package creates these sim links, to choose uh, what the default will be. Um, they can be rebuilt on an empty ETC as long as uh, you are still using uh, the default settings of the package, because uh, if they have been changed, then the configuration itself is in ETC. This is not perfect, but it works uh, good enough. And then we have uh, the protocol number databases used by uh, libc functions like get proto by name and so on. I'm actually the Debian maintainer of the package providing these files. I do not really have a good solution except that uh, copying them uh, or linking, sim linking to them on first boot. NS switch, same thing, but it cannot even uh, uh, be regenerated currently. It defines uh, which uh, NSS plugins are used to uh, resolve names uh, and those names. It has to be copied as well. ETC OS, we need localhost defined, but we can do without it. LibNSS MIOS name can recreate it. DPKG keeps its uh, database in var. We just move it, not a big deal. Have a look at 
non-compliant packages, look what they install in VAR, uh, and then try to find a solution. My plan is to start working on this in Debian, and I've got to go, but uh, there are uh, a few more slides. Uh, start working on some kind of policy in Debian to do this kind of stuff.